This is question 8 in OCR Gateway P5 for the Physics Syllabus and for the Further Additional Science Syllabus. James kicks a football in the air. It travels in a curve. This is an example of a projectile. Look at the diagram. So this is the shape of what we call a parabola. Okay. The football travels in a curved path. Explain why the path of the football is curved. This is a quality of written communication mark, so I'm going to suggest you try and find two paragraphs to structure your answer. This is quite a difficult one to structure, in fact. Um, so I'm actually going to suggest something slightly different. I'm going to suggest that you memorise a uh, explanation for parabolic motion, for the projectile motion part, because usually if they're going to ask you to explain it, it's going to involve the same kind of four points. So what I'm going to suggest you do when you answer this one is in fact to write a paragraph about the um, write a paragraph about the parabolic motion. Okay, so um, parabolic flight, where you explain how the vectors the vertical and the horizontal vectors work together to produce that curve and then I'm going to suggest that you actually draw a diagram to explain how the forces, how, sorry, pardon me, how the velocities are dissimilar at different points in that flight. So if you take this as being my diagram, you're going to draw the vectors at the start the vectors in the middle and the vectors at the end before it lands. Okay, so pause the video, have a little go at doing that and then come back and I'll tell you, I'll try and give you an explanation that you can memorise. So, in all projectile motion we say that the horizontal velocity is a constant. Now remember, for these questions with the quality of written communication, you write always in full sentences. Okay, Horizontal velocity is a constant because gravity is the only force acting on the projectile. And gravity acts straight down. What we say is we ignore the negligible which means very small air resistance. Okay. That means that there is a vertical acceleration. Okay, or you could say that the vertical velocity increases. And as the vertical velocity is changing, okay, and as the horizontal and vertical vectors are combined together, we say they sum together to produce the resultant velocity which is this parabolic path. So the last sentence here, the horizontal and vertical vectors sum to give resultant velocity. So on this diagram down here, I'm going to show you the type of thing that I would expect uh, you to be able to draw to show how the vectors are different at the beginning, in the middle of the flight, and the end of the flight. I'm going to do these in different colours just to help us kind of visualise it 
but actually you don't need to because you'll only probably have a black pen but you could do it in a pencil obviously in your exam so I'm going to draw the horizontal vector here in green and actually the horizontal velocity is going to be the same here as well I'll draw the same length and it's going to be the same here now the reality is that it will decrease slightly but it will decrease by a lot less than the vertical component will change so here at the beginning initially we have a vertical vector upwards and here we have no vertical vector at all because during this first half gravity has accelerated it downwards means decelerating it in the upwards direction means the vertical component has got less and less and less until it's zero here and then in the second part of the parabola the vertical component has increased and increased and increased and as until finally it's basically will be the same size as it started here now you could add annotation to that this is the horizontal component this is the vertical component this is the same horizontal component of the velocity this is the same horizontal component and this over here this would actually be the same vertical component but you could even say be opposite so it would be minus v v lastly you could add to this just to say the resultant velocity is in this direction here the resultant velocity is actually the same horizontal velocity here the resultant velocity finally would be there you need to show that you understand that the horizontal and vertical vectors sum they add up to give the overall velocity somehow you could indeed do that with just a smaller diagram just maybe one of these or you could do it in words but I think that's a pretty clear way to show you know how the, the vectors change throughout a parabolic flight